Live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the program. It is the 15th of February, so how about we find out about something that happened on this day in Iowa history with a man who knows about these kind of things. It is Professor Jeff Stein with this morning's installment of the Iowa Almanac. Professor Stein, how are you today? I am well. Good morning. Yeah. Hope you're staying warm. Oh, yeah, frigid uh, all over the place here. So please be careful if you are uh, planning on traveling outside at all. But we're going to talk about something that happened on this day in Iowa history that people might not know about, which is really kind of cool. You know, we have a, a number of buildings that stand as the oldest in the country. But this one here might be a surprise to some. What are we talking about here this morning? Well, Lou, the fact that the oldest standing purpose-built mosque in America is in Iowa, that might seem curious to some, but it is in keeping with Iowa's long history of welcoming those from a variety of faiths. In these segments, we've talked about the first Methodists and Lutherans, so it might not be too much of a surprise in context. Now, this was once known as the Rose of Fraternity Lodge, located on 9th Street Northwest in Cedar Rapids. The mosque was completed in 1934. Now, mosques in Chicago and New York City have been in place longer, but they were converted from existing buildings to be used as a Muslim house of worship. The Iowa structure is the oldest built for that specific purpose. All right, so yeah, this was created with that in mind, which is what we're talking about. But how did the building of the mosque come about in the first place? Well, the mosque in Cedar Rapids was built by a group of immigrants and their descendants from the Ottoman Empire in the area that is now Lebanon and Syria. And it served as a place of worship for Muslims on a regular basis for four decades. When the larger Islamic center of Cedar Rapids was built in 1971, this original building was sold and sadly fell into disrepair. But in 1991, the Islamic Council of Iowa purchased and restored the building as a Muslim cultural center. Yeah, and this is really uh, unusual as well because it is really tucked away, uh, not where you would ex expect it to be, like at a main thoroughfare of some sort. Tell everybody where this place is located. Well, the Mother Mosque stands in a residential neighborhood with houses on all sides. Now, there's a small marker off First Avenue, a major road in Cedar Rapids, and it points the way, turn here for the Mother Mosque, points the way to the structure, which, by the way, is listed on both the Iowa State Historical Register and the National Register of Historic Places. Construction of what is now the Mother Mosque of America Islamic Cultural and Heritage Center, the oldest mosque in America. That construction was completed on this date. Back in 1934. Yeah, look, you can see uh, some of the garages there on that last photo that we showed. You can see garages from homes that are there. But how about that? Right in the middle of a regular residential neighborhood, you have this house of worship like that. That is so cool, isn't it? And, you know, if you think about it, there are many areas where you have a church on a corner and then there are houses nearby as the town kind of grew or developed. And so in one respect, it's not a surprise. But then when you see what has happened to Cedar Rapids downtown, the fact that you're just going down the street and here is this historic structure it does stand out. Wow, and it's the oldest one in the country, purpose built. That's one of the things we want to make sure that people realize, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there is no structure in America older in terms of being a building built to be a mosque. And it's not even 100 years old. How about that? All right, people want to get more information about this, uh, Professor Stein, and talk about it with their friends a little later on today. Maybe if you're going to CR, you might want to cruise by and take a look at it. Where can they get that information? There's probably snow in front of it today if you cruise by, <laughs> but if you go to iowaalmanac.com, that's where we do these stories every day that are on the radio statewide. Now, 29, 31 stations. I lost track. 31 radio stations, but you can go to iowaalmanac.com, also Twitter and Instagram at Iowa Almanac. All right, Professor Stein, uh, you uh, try to hunker down and you stay warm, and then we'll check in with you later and find out about something else that happened on this day in Iowa history during the Iowa Almanac. We appreciate your time, buddy. Always a privilege. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. All right, pal. Take it easy.